So we will s- Hello my fellow Latter day Saints, Kenzie Virtual, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia, back once again for another episode of Tom and Jerry's Sins. This next one is entitled, Putting on the Dog. So, here we go. <laughs> I would take a sin off for them finally having some original music for this, but no, I am actually putting a sin on because we're still not using the theme we know! And straight out of the gates with the unrealistic physics! First off, this demonstrates the value of watching where you're going. And number two, he gets through it first time but has difficulty getting out second time around for the sake of the plot. No. Okay, heads up. How did Spike break out of the pound? Kenzie? Spike is in the pound. Did you not see the sign that clearly said dog pound? You know what? Let's put a sin against me for not miss... Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's put a sin against me for missing that attention to detail. Tom frustrated at Jerry being in a point of safety cliche. Yeah, Tom, that was literally me just a few seconds ago. Evil smile to signal the start of a plan cliche. Any normal minded person can tell that's just a dog's head on a cat's head. Would it not make more sense for you to try and get the whole thing? How does Tom get out of that head from that position? Gee whiz, Tom. Took you long enough. Why did Spike not do anything? Just kill him already! <laughs> now that's a trip to the vet. For bleeding paws. Took you long enough, Jerry. Every dog, he lifts a part of the body of where they should have felt it, they should be waking up. Let's see how many he does. That's two already. Three. Three dogs that should have woken up, three sins. Also, how did Jerry break part of that bone to be able to fit inside it? Clearly Spike should know who that is by now. Number one, ouch. Number two, another trip to the vet. And number three, how did he fit under there? The previous dogs didn't wake up, but this one does. Tell me your logic. Yeah, Tom's not getting out of that anytime soon. Say what? Also, why is the head sticking on his tail? How dumb of the animators made these dogs? How bad is their peripheral vision? And I'm talking about both of them here, so let's add two sins. Add another three onto that, one for each attempt that they missed until they finally saw each other. That would have woken up every single dog in the pound. Okay, realistic sound design for once. 
took them long enough. But there's no way the hair should be deep enough for Tom to be able to put it in. I guess this dog not questioned anything. Backed up my point even further as to how dumb these dogs are in this episode. In human scream. I've said it once. And I'll say it again. This demonstrates the value of watching the lagoon. Okay, I'll take a sit off. Nice job on misleading Tom. And shock and surprise the sin goes back on because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the delay is not realistic. Dog sees cat. Cat is chased by dog. Two points where dog kills cat, worst case scenario. Tom, open your eyes, look behind you, and just run! Another perfect opportunity to bite Tom's head off down the drain. Can that dog be any longer? Also, how did Jerry go from being chased to being on the back of the dog? Gunshot being fired without a gun sound effect cliche. Spike, just kill him already! Dog's head is not a typewriter. You've only got yourself to blame. Also, for the last time, if you are going to use a gunshot sound effect, USE A GUN ON ONE OF THE CHARACTERS! That is the most unrealistic sound design decision I have ever heard them come across. You know, you know, these, you know, these moments of impact need something interesting. How about we use the sound effects based on what they use? Mm, no. How about uh, an explosion sound effect? Nah, too intense. How about a gunshot? You, sir, are a genius. You are hired. That's pretty much what happened in the boardroom. Big lump out of head after moments of impact striking the head cliche. Jerry would be excellent at Tom and Jerry sins. Spike is not a bull. Spike would not be able to dig up that much dirt in one go. Oh, now the rest of the dogs wake up. I count six dogs. Six sins. <laughs> Tom should not be able to run on his front legs without being caught. Meaning, game over. <laughs> number one, he wouldn't be able to tie himself up in that knot. And number two, how high is that pool anyway? <laughs> Dumbfounded dogs. They have made this the dumbest episode for dogs in the world. And the dogs just stand there and just let this all happen. Jerry, for this week anyway. Uh, back to business with a music cover tomorrow for a couple of close friends. They'll know who they are when I uh, when I put the video up.
so what I'm going to do on Tuesday instead. What am I going to do on what am I going to do on Tuesday? Because it's going to cost it's going to cause me too much stress to get up to the point I was at in Cuphead. So I'm not going to be able to continue the Cuphead playthrough. So I'm going to need to start something else. I'll work something out. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter Day Saints Notification Squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Previous episode on the left, playlist on the right, time for the blooper reel, and I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace out. Stay faithful. In club. And the same little blooper story. Wait, how does Tom get out of that mark?